Merry Christmas. If I've taught you anything, I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep doing this YouTube thing. It's probably going to get banned, and I don't know if I'll ever start over anywhere else. But I look back to when I started in 2013. I mean, I've been a part of the site for longer than that, but that's when I made this channel. I was just one of those classic I love science bros back in the still heyday of the septic community. When most of what I did was show up and just talk to fundamentalist flat earth Christians. You know, young earth creationists and talk to them about shit. And uh, didn't really know what I was doing. And then I kind of got into social arguments. And then pretty rapidly I got into political shit. And I started politics as a progressive leftist. Then I moved to centrist and then I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what to make of Trump in 2016. And the more I paid attention, the more I just wanted to know what was true. I started off, you know, being a, an atheist, uh, you know, Mr. I love science, whatever. Just because I wanted to know what was true. But the more you look into politics, the more you look at a very dark and ominous thing. And you combine that with a love of world history. You find out some very dark and evil things about history, and you find out that we are in a very dark and evil time period right now. And nobody is concerned about anything that matters. How many politicians are talking about China? Because I guess one thing I can tell you about China. China just killed 80,000 Americans in the last two years. 80,000. And no, I'm not talking about COVID. I mean, it's almost impossible, given how corrupt the COVID response was, to tell exactly how many people died of COVID in America, but estimates are over 200,000. What you can't say for sure, what you can say for sure is China directly killed 80,000 Americans with fentanyl. The number one cause of death for adults in the United States. It's not heart disease. It's not cancer. It's not COVID. It's not suicide. It's fentanyl overdoses. Do you think anybody wants to close the border? No. How many state governments are trying to walk back the drug war while everything from cocaine to crack, heroin, fake Percocet pills, fake ecstasy pills. It's even been laced into marijuana. And it takes micrograms of this shit to kill you. Just kill you immediately, within minutes. 80,000 people. You heard a politician talking about it? Do you think anybody cares? Do you think they care whether you live or die? No, they don't. All you know, We're in a massive recession and all they want to do is put out record spending. You think there's a political solution to this? Do you think voting's going to solve this? Even if we operate completely within the terms of service of all these left-wing biased social media organizations and say that the entire voting system is completely safe, it's completely accurate, it's completely legitimate, who are you voting for? What empty, paid-for suit that is does nothing but represent the donor class that is actively killing you? What do you think they're going to do to help you? You think you made some sort of big win or a big suffered a big loss, Roe v. Wade being repealed? What else has the judiciary even done besides trying to fucking wipe their ass with the Constitution? The executive branch... What do I even need to say about Mr. Brandon? None of it matters. The only thing you can expect from either wing of this fake, completely fake dichotomy is that they will all vote in the uniparty's interest. There's not two, there's one. And more parties won't solve it because there'll just be more empty suits. You live in a fucking plutocracy. And they know that you know it. Guess what was in that $1.3 trillion spending omnibus they just passed? Each and every congressperson in the entire fucking Congress 
was afforded a stipend of $25 million for the purposes of home defense. Too many of you fuckers shat on Nancy Pelosi's driveway and they're going to do something about it. Which is, steal more of your money. Piss it away on that fucking puppet state in Ukraine. How many times do you hear some conservatives saying, oh, we're not even allied with Ukraine. Why are we doing this? What do you mean we're not even allied with Ukraine? Zelensky is a puppet installed by Obama himself. Of course they're an ally. And of course we are literally just straight up at war with Russia. And hey, guess who Russia is allied with? China. You got fucking dudes in the DEA saying this fentanyl thing that is being just easily floated right across the border by the Sinaloa cartel who is buying it direct from China. China is the number one and sole distributor of fucking fentanyl as a drug. And they're putting in it at everything. And they, the DEA is reporting that a significant percentage, as high as 40% of all the seized fake pills they keep grabbing, all this fake Percocet and fake Roxaset shit they keep picking up off of cartel fuckers, is fatal. One pill, one death. You're dead. 80,000 people. Anybody going to do anything about that shit? No. It's going to get bad out there. We're probably going to be in World War III next year. Africa's going to start to starve. Food crisis situation is going to continue. Energy is going to run out in Europe. You're all fucked. I hope you've been taking my advice. I hope you purchase the means to protect your family and are thinking of ways to feed them as the great American capitalist system starts to fucking fall apart. And I hope that you've at least reduced your spending because that dollar is going to be worth less and less every day. And they're going to be trying to snatch more and more of it from you to spend it on stupid bullshit. Like feminism in Uganda or some garbage like that. It's over. There is no fixing this. There is no democracy. You live in a fucking plutocracy. You live in a goddamn kleptocracy. There's no freedom. It's over. So get prepared.